came out of the land of Egypt. Show us marvelous things. The nation shall see and be ashamed of all their might. They shall lay their hands on their mouths. Their ears shall be deaf. They shall lick dust like a snake, like the crawling things of the earth. They shall come trembling out of their fortresses. They shall turn in dread to the Lord our God, and they shall stand in fear of you. This is the word of the Lord. The epistle appointed for this service is written in the second chapter of the Acts of the Apostles, beginning to read from verse 19. And I will show portents in the heaven above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You that are Israelites, listen to what I have to say. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with deeds of power, wonders and signs that God did through him among you, as yourselves know, this man handed over to you according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of those outside the law. But God raised him up, having freed him from death, because it was impossible for him to be held in its power. This is the word of God.
that it was at the same hour in which Jesus said to him, your son lives. And he himself believed and his whole household. This again is the second sign Jesus did when he had come out of Judea in Galilee. This is the gospel of Christ. Christ Lord. Miracle worker. You are the miracle worker. Come and do your miracle. Your miracle today. Come and do your miracle. Your miracle today. Call on him, miracle worker. You are the miracle worker. Come and do the miracle, miracle today. Come and do your miracle, the miracle today. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. We have come today to the one, to the miracle walking God. We have come today to the life giver. We've come today to the life changer for good. I pray today, Father, as we have come, lifting up our voices of appreciation for giving us the grace to see the new year. Above all, giving us the grace to be alive in the land of the living. Kicking and moving. May your name be praised. 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 And Father, now we want to hear your word. We pray you speak to us. All of you, none of me. I only make myself a channel through which you speak to your people. I pray. Everyone under my voice, at the end of the service, Visit them with a miracle. I did hear your amen. amen. Father, you've done it before. You are capable of doing it. You will do it again. We believe you will do it again. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Bless it. I feel like singing this morning. I am serving the God of miracle. I know. Yes, I know. I'm serving the God of miracle. I know. Yes, I know. Do you know we are serving the God of miracle? I know. You cannot yes, be making that confession just like that. Being the God of miracle, I know. Yes, I know. Do you know we are serving the God of miracle? I know. Yes, I know. Do you know we are serving the God of miracle? Yes, I know. Do you know? I'm serving the God of a miracle. I know. Yes, I know. I'm serving the God of a miracle. I know. Yes, I know. I pray for you as I pray for myself. And as you say that loud, Amen. You will not leave this auditorium without the God of miracle visiting you. Without the God of miracle turning things around for you. Without the God of miracle healing you. 
If you believe it, I need a better amen. A mega miracle, amen. No wonder David says that I was glad when they say, let us go into the house of the Lord. Do you know why? Nobody comes in contact with this miracle working God and goes on the same. I don't know about you, but for me, I have a thousand and one reasons to say that whoever that comes in contact with a miracle working God never goes on the same. Not for the good, not for the bad, but for the good. Praise the Lord. Micah chapter 7. Micah chapter 7 from verse 14. Lead your people, Lord. Come and be a shepherd. Grasslands surround us. But we live in a forest. So lead us to Bashan and Gilead. And let us find pasture as we did long ago. I, the Lord, will work miracles. I am expecting amen. I, the Lord, we work miracles just as I did when I led you out of Egypt. I'm reading with the contemporary English version. Nations will see this and be ashamed because of their helpless armies. They will be in shock and unable to speak or hear because of their fear of me your Lord and God. Then they will come trembling, crawling out of their fortresses like insects or snakes, lapping up the dust. Lapping up the dust. Micah, one of the prophets, theologians will say, one of the minor prophets was a contemporary of Isaiah and he prophesied during the time when the nation Israel seems to have forsaken God and if you read this chapter 7 Micah was saying the priests, the prophets, the people that were supposed to be the people that will be stuck in for God, telling the people that what they are doing is not good, they are taking bribes. They are swayed from the way of the Lord. And they have made it look like God doesn't exist. When he saw the situation of the time, reaching verse 14, he prayed a prayer, asking God to come and take his rightful place. Asking God what you did for us in the time past, we are looking up to you to do it again. But being a farmer, he used the metaphor, grasslands and pastures. May God give us better understanding in Jesus' name. So, in response to his prayer, God promised. Verse 15. I, the Lord, will work miracles. Who is talking? The miracle working God. Who is talking? The miracle working God. And that miracle working God is the God you have come today 
to meet with. And he will meet you at the point of your knees. I did hear your amen. This is our year of mega miracle. I said it on Tuesday during the foundation. Miracle is for everybody. We sleep, we wake. Though some see it like a right, it's a miracle from God. The sun shines on all of us. Not minding the good, the bad, the ugly. It's a miracle of God. So many things like that happen. It's a miracle of God. But mega miracle belongs. Or mega miracles are for his people. And I know you are a people of God. I know you belong to God. If not, you will not be here. And that is why Micah called him, Father, you are the miracle working God. You did something while you brought us out of slavery, while you brought us out of bondage, while you brought us from difficulties. I do not know what you went through in your 2022. But I'm, I'm here today to announce to you, as a servant of God, it is authority that whatever that seemed oppressing you, year 2022, in this year 2023, you will see them no more. You will see them no more. You will see them no more. Because... The miracle working God is the one that says, I, the Lord, will work miracle. Let's look at it. What is miracle? Something that excites wonders. Something that excites joy. Something that is beyond physical and natural pass. Something that human ideology and knowledge cannot fathom. Miracle. I wrote here, for those of us that read the Food for Thought, he said it defies the physical. And that is why the people that think that they are knowledgeable, they argue about miracle. Because they are looking for a proof. And that was why in our gospel reading, he said, until you see, you will not believe. That is not a way to walk with a miracle working God. Believing is seeing. Scientists, they need a proof. Scientists need to see it first before they believe. But the miracle working God says, believing is seeing. Praise the Lord. And I know, because you believe, you will see the miracle of God. Because you believe, in the God of miracle, he will do that miracle for you. Now, when this miracle happens, or these miracle, miracles happen, it appears so big. Of course, that is what God wants to achieve. That people will reference and fear him. I pray for you as I pray for myself. The miracle that God will do for your life this year, 2023, people will hear and they will say, the Lord is God. I did hear your amen. I did hear your amen. I need a mega miracle. Amen. Now, let's go to the scriptures. What 
are those things he did for them when they were leaving Egypt. The first one, Exodus chapter 14, 10 through 28, crossing the Red Sea. When they saw, when the Egyptians realized that their slaves had left, they pursued them. But something happened before that time. God told Moses, I will make Pharaoh to be stubborn. Just for one singular reason. For the world to know, I am a miracle working God. As you say that loud, amen. Any stubborn enemy that refuses to let you go, they will end up in the Red Sea. They pursued. But something that touches me most about the story is that the Bible records from verse either 19, 20, 21 that the angel of the Lord, remember he promised them that I will go ahead of you as a cloud by the day and a pillar of fire by the night. But the Bible records that as soon as the Egyptians were coming, he left before them and went behind. What did he do? He became a darkness to the Egyptians. And at the same time, a light to the Israelites. Who did that? The miracle walking God. As you say that loud, amen again. Whoever that is trailing you for evil, God will come between you and that person. He will be a darkness to that person and he will be a light to you. And as you come before that walking, the miracle walking God, you will not dash your feet against a stone. He will lead you aright. That was the beginning. He said to them, Pharaoh we know that I am a miracle working God. So your enemy will say you serve a miracle working God in this year 2023 in the name of Jesus. And that was how the story started. They pursued. They entered the Red Sea. God said to Moses, why do you cry to me? You have an authority. Let me ask you, child of God, listening to the God speaking to us this morning, do you have an authority? Do you have an authority? He said to Moses, you have an authority in your hand. Raise it out to the Red Sea. It will part. And the Bible records that by the left, by the right, it was wall. Water became wall. The miracle working God. Water became wall. The miracle working God. That is the God you have come to call upon today. He did it for them. He will do it for us. The rest. Because they did not get the signal that they were going to their dead end. They keep on pursuing. And what did he say to Moses? Move forward. I am telling you today, under God and his authority, move, move. Do not allow their troubles to distract you. This year, 2023, if you must get the mega miracle, leave their distractions. Do you know why they are distracting you? To lose focus. They can't but attack. They can't but plan evil. In Micah chapter 2, he says from verse 1, Woe to them! What sorrow awaits them? Who are those that on their bed they plan evil? 
In the burning, they execute. Why? Because it is in their power to do so. But God says, woe to them. Sorrow awaits them. And that was what happened to Pharaoh and his armies. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. They ended in Resi. Now, let's go again to Joshua chapter 6. The bringing down of the wall of Jericho. Joshua took over from Moses. If you read verse five, chapter 5 of Joshua, verse, verse 1, fear entered into the heart of some people because of the miracle God did by doing what? Drying the Jordan River. And overcome. You will continually overcome. You will continually overcome. In the name of Jesus. A question is coming to somebody. And that question is from Ezekiel chapter 27. 37 rather. Ezekiel 37. And the power of God fell upon Ezekiel. He took him to the dry bone. The valley of dry bone. And he said to him, son of man, can this dry bone come back to life again? God is saying, I should ask you, daughter of God, son of God, what is that thing that is dead in your life? Can they come back to life? It's you to answer. It's you to believe. It is me to declare into your life, into your business, into your marriage, Every deadness, they shall receive the power of God today. In the name of Jesus, they shall receive the power of God. Deadness in marriages. Deadness in wombs. Your body is no longer complying to the medicals. The one greater than medicals is here. And he's saying, I should tell you, you will be well again. You will be well again. Your marriage will work again. Your business will come out in the name of Jesus. How about the man? Because they stood for God, they were thrown into the lake of fire. The one that threw them saw something in Daniel, Daniel chapter 3, verses 19 through 27. And he said, I see four people in the fire. Do you know the fourth man in fire is the miracle working God you have come to see today? He said, I should announce to you that whatever challenge, whatever trouble you land yourself into because of standing from me, you will not be there alone. You will not be there alone. I will show myself strong and mighty. I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. But then we know you are serving the miracle working God. Hallelujah. But people of God, I started by saying miracles are for everybody. But mega miracles is for those that know the God they serve. Do you know God? What is your relationship with him? Excuse me, people of God. If we go through the scriptures carefully, those that mega miracles happened to are those of his. Praise the Lord. Am I saying Every one of us here is not of God. It is your choice to make. What did I say? It is your choice to make. Whether mega miracle will be for you. That is why he said in John chapter 1 verse 12 from verse 11, he went to his own. His own did not accept him. 
But whoever that accepts him, he gave the power. He had given it out outrightly. From the outset to be called the sons of God. So, I want to experience mega miracle in year 2023. There must be an encounter with the miracle working God. If you read Galatians chapter 4 verses 1 to 7, it talks about the right of a son. A slave in the house has a right. Am I correct? But the right of a son differs from that of a slave. And the privileges the son enjoys, the slave doesn't enjoy. Good people of God, the choice is yours today. Either to be part of the mega miracle by accepting him as your Lord and Savior. Why did I say so? In, Pro, in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 17 from verse 8 Moses was, the writer was telling the people when any difficult case comes to you Take it to the place where the Lord chooses. That suggests to me that it is not everywhere that God answers prayers. Hello. If you read further, there are some category of people, he says, you sh they should attend to you and you should do whatever they tell you. That is a way to tap into the mega miracle in year 2023. That is a way. Why? John chapter 9 verse 31 says God doesn't listen to a sinner. It's in the Bible. It is not Reverend Modi. God doesn't listen to sinners. Hebrews chapter 2 verses 3 and 4 ask a question. How can we escape if we neglect such a great miracle, such a great salvation? You are before God this day. You want that mega miracle. You want whoever, every stubborn pursuit of your life to end up in the Red Sea as long as they refuse to let you go. The choice is yours to make. Are you there now? And you want to be partaker of this mega miracle. Your relationship with God matters. The prodigal son realized himself. He went back to God. And God did not cast him away. So this morning, if you are under my voice, as it pleases God, before I pray for us, that your relationship with God is not cordial. You know in yourself. Why not let's bow our heads and pray to him. Bow your head. Ask God. This year, 2023, I need you in my life. I realize I'm a sinner. I realize my relationship with you is not good. Though I appear to people like I am your son, I am your daughter. But I know in me, if your son Jesus will come today, I am not going to bake it. Please forgive my sins. Please forgive my sins. Wipe away my sins. Take my name out of the book of death and put my name in the book of life. I have backslidden. I am coming back to you. 
please accept me again. Come into my life and take the center stage. The walking miracle, God, I have come to you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The greatest miracle and the most mega of all of them is God delivering your soul. If he delivers your soul as you should allow him, every other thing falls in place. Praise the Lord. And I pray for you today. As you say that loud, amen. Because you have given your life and decided to have an encounter with this miracle working God, line will fall in pleasant places for you. I didn't hear your amen. Line will fall in pleasant places for you. Every stubborn enemy of your life, they will be subjected to the power of God in your life. In the name of Jesus, every stubborn enemy of your business, they will be subjected to the power of God in your life. In the name of Jesus, any man, any woman that goes to any strange altar for your sake to call your name, Holy Ghost, thank you, Lord, for what you have done. May your name be continually praised. In the name of God, the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us reaffirm our faith with the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate of the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Let us pray for the whole church of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we pray for the people of every race and in every kind of need. Make your ways known on earth and your saving power among all nations, especially in places of wars in Russia, in Ukraine, and closer home in Nigeria, the Boko Haram, the banditry, and kidnappings, that the Lord will steal the tide and reverse it for us. Lord, in your mercy, we commend to your fatherly goodness all who are anxious or distressed in mind or body. Comfort and relieve them in their need. Give them patience 
in their suffering and bring good out of their troubles. Especially those that have one sicknesses of the other. We pray that the Lord will heal them in Jesus' name. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Still in our prayers. The scripture says in Matthew 26, Matthew 19, 26, that with men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. We have heard, even from the word that the Lord sent to us today, that his mega miracles are reserved for his children. And we are going to be recipients of his mega miracles now in the name of Jesus. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. If you believe that his miracle is for you it will, and will be effectual in your life, I need you to sing that song. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. He has done great. The Lord will turn around every tide in your life and think your lines will fall in pleasant places in the mighty name of Jesus. You will see signs and wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will send help from above unto you. Your help will come only from the Lord. He says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills where from where my help shall come from. He says, my help shall come from the Lord who has made heaven and earth. When everything has failed, the Lord will send help to you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord shall continue to be your guide and your guardian. No evil shall befall you anymore in the name. The Lord shall ordain the times and seasons to walk in your favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray for the month of July. Between now and the month of July, children of God, jubilation shall not cease in your homes in the name of Jesus. Every now, every time, you will have a reason to jubilate in the name of Jesus. What had been sorrow for you, the Lord will turn it around for good in the name of Jesus. And we pray for the church of Nigeria. The church shall prevail in every assault of the enemies against us in the name of Jesus. Not only shall we prevail, we will conquer, we will overcome, and we will win more souls for Christ in the name of Jesus. We pray 
for Nigeria. Nigeria shall be great again in the name of Jesus. Nigeria shall flourish again in the name of Jesus. The Lord shall restore Nigeria to greater glory than we have ever seen in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray for each and every one of us. We have one request or the other. We pray that the Lord shall visit that your request as you table it before him with your mega miracles, with his mega miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. You will come back here in, in this sanctuary to testify in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let us share the grace. Please stand. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. We are heads of the Father. We are joint heads with the Son. We are children of the kingdom. We are family. Oh, we are one. We are heads. We are heads of the Father. We are joint heads with the Son. We are children of the kingdom. We are one family. We are family. We are one. Oh, now hold son, son. Tell him that you love him. Lift your hands together and praise the Lord.
Yours, Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty for everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, it is a duty and joy at all times. And in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. For he is your living word. Through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born as man and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you father almighty you have revealed your eternal plan of salvation and have shown your son jesus christ to be the light of all peoples therefore with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and saying Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me in the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross, and proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension as we look for his coming in glory we celebrate with this bread and this cup his one perfect sacrifice 
Except through him our great high priest, these are sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts, in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit. Inspire us with your love. And unite us in the body of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you on earth and in heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table. But you are the same Lord whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear son Jesus Christ and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving.
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We rejoice in you for all that you have given to us. Out of it, we have brought to you. Heavenly Father, we pray that you bless and sanctify this offering. Bless the giver. And those that have nothing to give, make a way for them. And as we are expecting a mega miracle, miracle explosion for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, any part of your life that you want a miracle to happen, from this hour, from this moment, receive it in the name of Jesus. And it shall be well with you now and evermore. I have seen and I testify that this is the Son of God. As our Savior taught us, so we pray as we kneel. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power the glory are yours now and forever amen almighty god we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your son jesus christ through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your spirit to live and walk to your praise and glory. Amen. Please be seated. Praise the Lord. Just by way of a prologue, before the vicar makes the main announcements, there is one great signal, perhaps a feature of the epiphany, because epiphany is the revelation of Christ to mankind. One of the ways by which our mega miracles has just been made manifest in our life as a parish is that on the 17th, Tuesday the 17th of this month, our vicar will turn 60. Beat that if you can. So that's one of the biggest things to happen in our parish as we commence this new year. It will be modest for him to be the one to make that announcement, hence this prologue that we are privileged to make. And so at 1 p.m. on Tuesday the 17th of this month, please join us here for the Thanksgiving service to celebrate three scores of his life and to appreciate God for his goodness upon his life. As soon as that service is over, reception will take place at the Ayoroshiji Hall of the Cathedral Church of Christ uh, on that day. Tuesday the 17th, please keep it blocked on your, in your diary. And so we celebrate the number one man in our parish, the venerable Ife Okupaive. Thank you very much, the guru. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's the politics in the chancel. <laughs> I want to say thank you to my priests. God bless you all in Jesus' name. We welcome those who traveled. Welcome you back to the church. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Those who are worshiping with us for the first time, if you are worshiping with us for the first time, 
can we see your faces so that we pray for you I'm worshiping here for the first time God bless you God bless you and keep you it is well with you goodness of the Lord mercy of the Lord will follow you all the days of your lives go with us because we are proclaiming mega miracle and it is yours in the name of Jesus Christ if you want to be part of us please after the service you move straight to that door our brothers and sisters will welcome you in the name of the Lord thank you for coming I was born last week and I was born today can you please stand up for recognition my birthday was last week and today is my birthday if you want to clap you clap it is well with you as you have remembered your birthday you will never remember it to cause it in the name of Jesus as you go the good Lord will go with you he will be on your right hand he'll be on your left hand he'll be in your front he'll be at your back in the name of Jesus Christ after the prayer share the cake hallelujah hallelujah we want to say thank you to the choir, the band, the orchestra. We want to say thank you to Sai Keako. We say thank you to the wardens, vajas, stewards. And we say thank you to the PA system people and those of the media. May the good Lord continue to bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Please check page 12, item 3, the Foundation 2023. By the grace of God on 13th, Friday 13th of January, we'll be at Faith Plaza by 2 p.m. to do the final part of our foundation. Every day, 6 p.m., we are here to pray and to bless the name of the Lord. It is a fasting and praying season. And by, um, by Friday, this coming Friday, we'll end it at Faith Plaza. The buses will be around to convey you there. God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, there was an oversight on Christmas, I mean on New Year Eve day. I mentioned some names that, I mean, some people that celebrated their birthdays, 50, 60, and so on. But I forgot to mention our dear mama, Mama 95. <laughs> mama, to <don't> worry. <laughs> God bless you, ma. Continue to flourish and prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. We, the priests, and the workers of this church, we are saying thank you to you for your care, for your magnanimity, for making us to enjoy our Christmas and New Year period. May the good Lord bless your purses, keep you undefiled, protect you from foulers, and give you peace of mind in the name of Jesus Christ. By the grace of God, our primate, the most reverend Dr. Ndukuba, our bishops, bishops and their wives are starting a retreat at Faith Plaza by the grace of God. Please keep them at heart and pray for them and the good Lord will be with them in the name of Jesus Christ. This Tuesday by 7 a.m., we are having the healing and anointing service. We want to see you all. Please check item 13, I mean, page 13, item 8. Kindly check it and read it well. 
for those of us that have not gotten our PVC after registration, it is ready now. Just read page 13, item 8, very, very well. And you will see it there. And next Sunday, by the grace of God, we'll be having Bible study. Venerable Oduwole will be leading us by the grace of God. The rededication of girls and ladies, they are ready. I will do that any time from now. And I want to tell you that about 800 priests will be congregating here on the 18th and 19th of this month from Lagos, Lagos West, Badagri, Mainland, and um, Awori. So, please, as they are coming, I would have loved to bring them all to your footsteps, I mean, to your doorsteps. But then, I don't know how many buses we are going to rent. But supposing myself and my priests are visiting you, you will surely give, give us Coke, is that not so? Or Fanta or malt, or fruit drinks or so. For the fact that we cannot bring them there, we want you to do something for the church because the hosting is big. Very, very big. And if you can take cater for the breakfast and the lunch, the lunch is a takeaway thing. So if you can cater for at least 50, 100, the whole 800, you are free. Please, see the vicar, any of the priests, the wardens, or you see the accountant or Uncle Mike, Please help the church so that we can host this two-day thing successfully. God in his infinite mercies, we bless your purse and uphold you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Before the Christmas and New Year Thanksgiving, I will call on the girls and ladies and their leaders to the altar for Thanksgiving. The band. I will exalt you, Lord, for thou hast lifted me above my enemies, Jesus. Your banner over me is love. We will exalt you, Lord. Up of my enemy, my We will exalt you, Lord. We your love of mercy, oh my Lord. Oh, your enemy, my enemy, Oh, 
Let us please um, turn to the book in our hands. We are here today to give glory to God and to rededicate the lives of the officers and the entire members of the Dawson Girls Guild in this parish to the various offices God has called them into and to the progress of God's work in the society. Dawson Archdeaconry and parish officers here present, do you accept these various offices in the Girls Guild? Do you promise to perform the duties of your various offices diligently in a manner that will bring progress to the society and to the glory of God? To all members of the Girls Guild here, I put this to you. Do you promise to oppose the rules and regulations of the Guild? Do you promise to read the Word of God daily with prayers and memorize a verse in the Holy Scriptures every week? Do you promise to attend all church services and meetings regularly? Do you promise to keep holy the Sabbath day? Do you promise to respect your parents and elders and to keep clean habits always? Do you promise to keep away from vain talks, lying and slandering? The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Grant that whoever is here dedicated to thee by our office and ministry may also be endued with heavenly virtues and everlasting reward. Through thy mercy, O blessed Lord, who thus live and govern all things, world without end. Together we shall take the girl's good prayer. O God, our heavenly Father, we pray thee to bless all who are in this guild. Join us together in love and prayer. Make us attentive and obedient children. Do thou help us to keep the laws of this guild. Please help us to know thee more and to love thee more, that we may follow thee more nearly through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As you have been so dedicated, may the hand of the Lord rest upon your life. Amen. This year, may you be more dedicated to the things of God. Amen. You will never grow weary, you will never be tired. Amen. In the scheme of things in God's kingdom, you will not be found wanting. Amen. Destiny snatchers will not snatch your destiny. The joy your parents have over you will continue to increase. In your academics this year, you will soar. In all that you lay your hands upon, it will be successful. We will continually rejoice over your life. It is well with you in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. By the time you go out, the Lord will keep you. When you come in, the Lord will be with you. All the rest of your life, you are for the Lord. This is our declaration over you. As you rededicate yourself in year 2023, in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. You are highly lifted, O oh, awesome God. You are highly lifted, O oh, mighty God. You are, you are. very much uh, those of us that were not here during christmas and new year please just raise your hands up the stewards will come and meet you you drop your new christmas and new year offering and thanksgiving then it will be brought to the altar please raise up your hand with your envelopes the stewards will surely come to you band over to you the steadfast love of the Lord never cease. His mercy is great that comes to an end. They are new every morning. New every morning. Oh, where is thy faithfulness? Oh, Lord, oh, where is thy faithfulness? Please, I'm sorry, those of us that
that were not here during the new year and christmas as please come to the altar we give you the gifts from the church but the representative of the family should collect one per family those of us that were not here during the christmas and new year season the gift is here for you please dance to the front and receive the gift then we pray for you those that were not here for christmas and new year thanksgiving please dance to the front and receive your gifts count your blessings name them one by one count your blessings see what god has done count your blessings name them one by one i need to surprise you what the lord has done please count Oh yes, God. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, grateful we have come to you in this new year 2023 we have come to claim your promised blessings of mega miracles upon our lives and as a token representation of what you are going to do in our homes in our household in our lives in our businesses in our marriages and in the life of our children and grandchildren we have received this token of gift from the church. We pray, Father, Lord, that none of us will miss the mega blessings of the year 2023 in the name of Jesus. We also remember and acknowledge the fact that unless our hands are in your hands, we cannot truly harness the entire blessings that you have promised. This year, may we work with you and walk with you in the name of Jesus. Everything that will keep us far from you, cancel in our lives in the name of Jesus. Give us the wonderful gifts of mega miracles in the name of Jesus. Let people around us feel the aura of your new blessings upon us and let them ask the God we serve so they can serve you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. This year, May we walk in places that are fertile in the name of Jesus. In any areas of our lives where we had experienced dryness, this year 2023, may we sing a new song in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will manifest his blessings in your life. And you will become a channel of blessings to several others. In the name of God the Father. God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Amen.
family of Jose and Ezebe on the wedding thanksgiving of Kausiso and David. Please come to the altar. Omeri omere mja siya na rekene Omeri hololo mja siya na rekene Otupari mba the joy of the Ezebes and the Dozies. We rejoice in you for all that you have done for them, especially for Kausiso and David. 
they were joined together in a holy wedlock yesterday and we say thank you for taking all the glory be thou exalted be thou glorified in the name of jesus christ Kausiso and david your peace will continue forever Amen. your wedding certificate will never be torn Amen. it is not for any litigation in the name of jesus christ Amen. both of you will live together in peace and in joy Amen. your love will increase Amen. your wine will never be spent Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. we pray for you that soonest we come and rejoice with you at the birth of your children in the name of jesus christ Amen. and whatever you do for living goodness and mercy we follow you Amen. and so we pray for your parents they are seeing good things in the land of the living they will continue to see more and more in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for every one of us thanking you on behalf of Kausiso and David. It is well with you. Amen. This type of blessing is your portion this year and beyond in the name of Jesus. As you have come to rejoice with this couple, your joy will never hit the rock. And so we pray for those families at the verge of collapse, straightening things up for them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Those that are still looking on to you for this type of joy, let it be their portion. Amen. And so in this church, more marriages, Amen. more birthdays, Amen. more joyful locations. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. The Lord make his face shine mercifully upon you Amen. and give you peace. Amen. Peace in your body, in your soul, in your spirit, in whatever you do, now and evermore. Amen. Jesus, so Thank you very, very much. Um, in the sure hope of resurrection, we announced the death of Papa Ayadike, who passed on in Atlanta. We pray that the good Lord will be with the wife, the children and grandchildren in the name of Jesus Christ. And those of us that are remaining, may the good Lord strengthen our years and give us peace of mind in Jesus' name. The Lord be with you. Children of the living God, go out of this sanctuary to be fruitful in the name of Jesus Christ. Go out into the weak and no evil shall befall you. You have prayed and you have called on the name of the Lord. Those who called on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You are saved. All what you are expecting this year through the mighty power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that mega miracle that we have been praying for will be your portion. Mega miracle will happen in our country this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Superlative miracles will happen in your business and in your places of work in the name of Jesus Christ. 
bigger miracles will attend your home in the name of Jesus Christ. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and be with you always. Oh. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.